Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello friends, and it's Debsy, and the place to be, it's Debsy. That's me, Debsy. Hey everybody, so it is the end of my birthday week. Oh, so it's back to work tomorrow. Um, I had taken the week off of doing a lot of filming last, last week, so um, I did not really keep up with pop culture. Um, I do know that there was um, some information in the Depp v. Heard settlement. Um, I'm not going to get into any of that today. I'm going to today instead talk about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because I did watch it on Wednesday as per usual and I just didn't film anything on it because um, I didn't feel like it. So, <laughs> I was doing a lot of stuff last week as far as, as just birthday celebration. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Tonight we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So first thing jumped out at me is, oh my God. So what the shit? Erica, Jane, and Sutton are actually talking. Like, what the hell? They're talking and I mean... They're sitting next to each other at dinner and they're looking at pictures on their phones. They're bonding over being Southern. Um, I, I, I don't know. Are they friends now? This is, this is kind of, this is kind of amazing. Now it could just be something like what happened last year when they went to, when they went on vacation and Sutton and Erica Sutton and Erica were walking behind everybody and talking and, you know, and, and Erica apologized and then later off camera had said, listen, nothing's changing. I'm just, I don't want everybody else to be miserable. So I'm just going to talk to her. So, but we'll see. I don't, I mean, wow. Um, what else had happened? And they were still in Pinta Punta or whatever the heck it is. Pinta Muta or I don't know. Um, what else had happened? Arena was talking about her mother, about um, Lois and the grieving process. Now she had said that, uh, you know, people were saying to her, um, hey, you're not taking long enough to grieve. And she had said that she went on the She's saying that she went on the trip because that's what Lois, that's what her mom would have wanted her to do. And I'm going to tell you, I am not going to say anything about how long it takes her to grieve because everybody grieves differently. Everybody has a different timeline for how long they grieve. And I mean, it might be something that she's just really going through internally. So I'm not going to say anything about that because whatever, it's you're going to grieve the way you're going to grieve. So I'm not going to say anything about that. I do feel, I will say once again, I feel incredibly bad for, for her because her mother was um, a very lovely woman that had been on the show a few times. And also the fact that they had to make the decision to remove her mom from life-saving or um, from any life-saving or life prolonging measures. I know what that's like. So once again, I do send my, um, I do send my prayers and thoughts out to her and her family. It's a tough situation. It's a tough situation for all. Okay. And as far as Crystal goes, Crystal was basically, I, I don't know, they were talking, Crystal was saying that, Crystal said something interesting. She says, I'm not going to attack you, but I'm going to hold on to it. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, wait, that sounds kind of manipulative. Other women were talk, other women were talking and they were saying, Crystal is manipulative. She's doing this to be manipulative. And Crystal then had said, what she does is she holds on to things like this, that, that had happened with Sutton and she holds on to it and she tries to internally resolve it. I forget who, who was even talking to her, but they had said, yeah, it does come off as kind of 
manipulative, but if that's how you resolve it, geez, that is, that's, I just hold on to it internally for a long time and I resolve it in, internally. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, do I, I don't know. I wanted, I wanted to really like Crystal, but I don't know. There's something about her that I'm just not, it's not rubbing me the right way. Um, and, and it's the same thing with Sutton. Like last year, I really, really did like Sutton a lot. Um, this year I like her, but I don't know. I don't know if there's something that else that she is hiding that I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about her. Um, okay. So then the ladies had gotten, had gone on to a boat that they had chartered. And of course, you know what, once again, Diana, sometimes I like Diana, sometimes I don't. Because when they showed the boat, Diana was kind of scoffing it off, like giving it kind of like a side eye, like, oh, this isn't, like she has a bigger boat or something. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes I like Diana. Sometimes she just gets too bougie, bougie, look at me, I'm so fancy, you know. I mean, like when they go, when you're going to Mexico, you're going to Mexico, why do you need a glam squad to go to Mexico? Come on. I don't understand that. So they're all on the boat. All the ladies are talking. Erica is drunk as, as shit. And she's her catchphrase for the night is I'm so lit. So if you watch the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, this episode on replay, um, please just take a drink every time she, Erica says, I'm so lit because she says it a million times. She falls asleep is passed out, um, wakes up at the end, has ended, has, has stained, has stayed the couch to high heaven because of her, because of her excessive use of, of body makeup. I don't know why you need body makeup. And also, thank God that someone decided to put a, who, a pillow over her hoo-ha because I didn't need to see any of that. Um, so they're all talking and everything and honestly Diana and and then Diana just jumps off the side of the boat to go swimming and my first thought was shit this she can't even stand being around these ladies she got to jump into into the into the sea and then get stung by a damn jellyfish and as soon as I, and I thought that and I put that on my and I put that on here. I put Diana is so over these ladies. She's jumping into the jellyfish infested waters. And then didn't Garcel say the same thing like five, like two minutes later? Um, I don't know. The, 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 there wasn't anything major discussed on the boat. The Just the funny thing was the fact that Diana couldn't stand any of them and jumped overboard. So, um... Then they had another, they had another dinner and I just made a note on the fashions. The fashions for me, Garcelle, of course, Garcelle always looks good. Garcelle always, always, always looks good. Now Garcelle is one of the women that had the glam squad with her. I'm not going to say anything. I love Garcelle. You can go ahead and have a glam squad, Garcelle. Kyle, Kyle did not look bad. And I thought Dorit looked good. Now, Sutton. Sutton had on this white long dress, kind of flowy dress. I don't know if it was by Dior. Of course, it was, it was a label. Now, I'm going to tell you. And I think Sutton is friends with, is very good friends with Dolce & Gabbana, I think. I think that's who it is. But she wears a lot of high-end couture stuff. And most of the time, I most of the time, I'm just not a fan of what she wears. Listen, I know it's high-end. I know it's ex real expensive. I know it's foreign. I'm not a fan of about 80% of what she wears. So... I wasn't a fan of it. So they're having this, um, they're at dinner. Garcelle then says she's having a birthday party. Um, she's having a birthday party. Everybody's so excited and this and that. And Rinna then lets it slip that she is not going to be there. She's going to be out of town. 
because um, they're having a, a party, I guess a premiere party for um, a movie. I don't know if it's a movie or if it's a TV show or a mini series that her husband, Harry Hamlin is starring in. I forget what it's called, but he is playing um, Tom Brokaw. My mom loves Tom Brokaw. Um, he's playing Tom Brokaw in this, in this movie or TV series or mini series, something. So she's not going to be there. So then um, Garcelle says, well, Denise Richards is gonna be there. Now for you guys who did not watch last year, who have not watched any of this, Denise Richards was on for two seasons. Denise Richards and um, Lisa Rinna had been friends for a while, for quite a while before Denise Richards came on the show. Last year, the first year, the, the first season Denise Richards was on, it wasn't, there wasn't much going on with her. Second season, and that was because that was the season of Puppygate where everything was focused on Lisa Vanderpump and trying to, you can't tell me they didn't purposely try and plant that puppy story to try and get her off that season. And it worked because she was off. Um, but in the second season, Brandy Glanville ugh, comes back on and, and throws out this story that her and um, that she had had a, as she had had a relationship of the sexual kind with Denise. Denise um, had married, had married, um, and she got married on the show. She married her husband. She's married to now Aaron. And, um, but she's saying that her and Brandy had this, she's saying, Brandy is saying, had said that her and Denise had this, um, this affair. And this was before they went on this big trip to, I think it was like Paris to, to France, I think. And everybody was all up in arms. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Did you hear? Blah, 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 it's that. And Lisa Rinna, who was supposed to be this great friend and stand by her and blah, blah, blah. She did no such thing. She threw her, she, no, she didn't support her. She didn't want to hear anything. She didn't believe her. She believed Brandy. So that's the thing. And, and Garcelle was really upset because of the fact that that um, Lisa Rinna was saying about how such great friends she was and this and that to um, how great a friend she is and I'm a friend of Denise's. She threw her right in the... And meanwhile, whose business is it of yours if she did? I mean, come on. Mm -mm. Meanwhile, meanwhile, when, De when that whole story came out about Denise, she... Rena was like, see ya, bye to Denise. Meanwhile, meanwhile, last year, Erica supposedly, you know, all this was going on with, with Erica Jane and Tom Girardi and just terrible, terrible accusations about, about people getting, about victims getting stiffed out of settlement money. Oh, but who, but who stood by her friend then? Oh, Lisa Rinna, of course. So, you know, Garcelle was pissed because what the hell? You couldn't, you couldn't give a little grace to, um, a, to, to your friend Denise? No. So Garcelle says, well, Denise is going to be there. And Rinna's like, well, um, it, as she told, now she told me, since I'm not going to be there, if I was going to be coming, would she have told me? Yeah, I guarantee she would have told you because Garcelle's not shady like that. So, Gar and then Rena says, oh, well, I just wanted to let you know, I reached out to, um, Den I reached out to Denise and she texted me back. Uh, and I, I reached out to her saying, I'm sorry. And I apologize. And she texted me back saying, oh, thank you. I accept and this and that. Girl, Garcelle texted Denise because they're still friends. Because Garcelle's a good friend, and texted her, texted her, and said, "Did she text you? Did you hear from? Did you hear from um uh, from Rena?" And she was like, "No, I no, I didn't." So Rena, my Rena, it sounds to me like she's lying. So there we go.
there's that whole thing. So next week we're gonna see. We're probably we might see we might see um, Denise back on. Um, and also, so now it looks like we're they're gonna be putting into motion the whole um, Diana versus Sutton storyline and you can make sure that we know that Garcelle is going to stand by her friend Sutton because uh Diana had said something about you know not not wanting to be friends with Garcelle or something girl listen Garcelle's not going to lose sleep because you don't want to be friends with her she's fine she has friends she has a real friend so let's calm it down Diana she's not going to give a shit about that um, and that's just, uh, that's just about it. And then when they were leaving, when they were leaving Mexico and they were going on Diana's, uh, Diana's private plane, um, Sutton had, uh, Sutton had tried to sit next to Diana and Di Diana had said, no, don't sit here. You have to sit in your original seat. And she went to, she went over to Garcelle and she was like, were you told you have to sit in your original seat? She's like, no, my original seat was over there. I'm sitting where I want to sit. So that's that. I mean, I'm going to tell you this much. Um, should, was it right for Sutton to yell at her and point in her face after Sutton had told Diana that she does not respond well to people yelling at her? No, she should not have done that. But I don't know. There is something about, I don't know. There's something about Diana that I'm not that big a fan of. Like she kind of strikes me a little bit like Yolanda Hadid. Now there were things about Yolanda Hadid. There's maybe one thing that I liked about Yolanda Hadid, but most of the things I wasn't, mm, on that big one so I don't know and so it looks like in the in the coming weeks there's going to be this Sutton Diana battle so we'll see we'll see what goes on hopefully it heats up here soon um because it's getting it's, it's a little boring the season is a little boring um and and the um Real Housewives of Dubai I just can't get into that I just I watched the first 10 minutes of the very first um, episode, I, I just couldn't. I just don't like any of the women. I think, no, I don't, I don't like any of the women. So we'll see. So, okay, everybody, that is it for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, it is Sunday, so let me just tell you, if, if no has told you yet today, I love you, your love seen and heard. Please make sure to put hope, love, kindness, acceptance, compassion, and positivity out there because we all need it. We all need it. And everybody have a good day, good rest of the day, and a good week. Cross your fingers and send all your positivity my way because I'm going to need it after having been off for a week and sleeping in. So everybody, everybody have a great day and I love you guys. Bye.